In January 2014, after weeks of intensive rain, floodwaters in Somerset reached record levels, and that meant it affected houses that had previously been safe from flooding. Among them, Bryony Sadler's house at Northmoor. Where we're standing now, you would have been up to your thighs in water. Um, throughout the whole of the property, there was two foot of water in, in the house. But for three weeks, you know, just to even be able to come home and pick up a clean pair of pants, you know, you had to wear waders because you were literally pushing up to your, you know, thighs in water to, yeah, get to your home. Because they could see the water coming days before it arrived, Bryony and her family were able to get most of their possessions upstairs. But when the flood came, it still wrecked the kitchen, damaged carpets and floor coverings, warped wooden doors and skirtings, and even saturated the brickwork and plaster, all of which had to be replaced. 165 homes were affected, and the total cost of damage to properties estimated at £16 million. And being flooded also has financial impacts in other ways. We've had one house sale in the village and they got about two thirds of the price of what it should have been, which actually at the time was a really good price. Um, we had our house valued about the September before we left in the January and it was up for, I don't know, somewhere in the region of 650,000. I'm not sure we'd get anything more than about 450,000 now, if anybody would be interested in it at all. The floods have also pushed up insurance premiums, and new buyers could find it difficult to get insurance at all. But the impacts of the flood weren't just economic. Whilst their homes were underwater and being repaired, hundreds of people had to find alternative accommodation for several months, disrupting schooling, work and personal lives. Although Bryony managed to move her animals to safety, the floodwaters took weeks to recede, and that meant they also had a significant impact on local wildlife. Before we left, we'd see, you know, barn owls floating in the water because they've got nothing to eat and, and snakes that would try and swim away from all the flood water, but they'd just drown because they'd just be so exhausted. 18 months after the flood, Bryony's house might look like it's back to normal, but the building works are still ongoing. The woodwork's cracking. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's where I was going. You can see there. And the skirting's coming off. These are really good. But some of the effects will take even longer to shake off. Ask almost anyone who's experienced a catastrophe like this, and they'll tell you the worst impacts are the emotional and psychological ones. Six months on now, the thing that I find the hardest is your mental state. Your people's mental state is so massively affected, and I think probably will be for... I don't know yet. I can't put a time limit on it, but you know, people can't, you can't take in everyday life and everybody else's day-to-day -day problems. You know, you're still, because we've been through so much, it still really affects you.